I give the floor to the representative of the Russian Federation. Thank you, Madam President. We wish to thank the Special Envoy of the Secretary General, Mr. Garrett Peterson, for the comprehensive report. And it is with interest that we listen to uh, your ideas vis-a-vis uh, -vis the methodology for facilitating Syrian settlement. We also listened to, to the statement delivered by Madam Rajal Tali. The Russian Federation remains wedded to the principle of a peaceful settlement to the Syrian crisis through political diplomatic means. In order to advance this process under the aegis of the United Nations, a constitutional committee was set up. It began its work on 30 October, October in Geneva. The creation of this committee with this, the critical assistance of the Astana format was an incontrovertible achievement of the Syrian people. As has previously been noted by the Special Envoy, nobody expected that the work of the committee would be easy. For the first time, two Syrian side seated themselves at the negotiating table where they are to discuss the future of their country, a future where the interests of all strata of Syrian society will be taken into account. This is a critical and a difficult task. During the second round of dialogue in Geneva, the parties strove to reach agreement on the principled approaches for their further efforts. Our hope is that the divergent views that have been expressed will enable them to better prepare themselves for the next meeting. And in this connection, we view as counter productive, the dramatization of the situation and the appointment Attribute, attribute, uh, appointment of guilty parties is important to give the Syrians an opportunity to understand how they can continue to reach agreement among themselves. A uh, cornerstone principle in the work of the Constitutional Committee has been enshrined in Resolution 2254 of the Security Council, and this provides for progress of the political process, a Syrian-led, Syrian-owned political process. The Special Envoy should help to bring this about, and we, in turn, stand ready to support his efforts. One shouldn't exert pressure on the Syrians, nor burden their uh, efforts with unrealistic time frames. Uh, uh, they have dialogue ahead of them on fateful issues which cannot be resolved overnight. Well, for our part, we will uh, prompt all parties uh, to adopt a constructive approach. To that end, we continue to engage with partners from Iran and Turkey through the Astana format. Uh, on 10 to 11 December in Nur Sultan, the 14th international meeting was held on Syria under the above mentioned format with constructive participation from the Jordanian, Iraqi, and Lebanese delegations as observers. Uh, following this, a joint statement was adopted, uh, the uh, content of which we had an opportunity to familiarize ourselves with. At the same time, it was stressed that all activity of the guarantors of the Stana format will be rooted in strict compliance and respect for the sovereignty, independence, unity, and territorial integrity of Syria. Beyond the political track, under the Astana format, also other issues of the situation in Syria are being discussed. These include confidence-building measures, the humanitarian situation, including the delivery of humanitarian assistance to all of Syrian territory without discrimination, politicization, nor the advancement of preconditions. Activities are ongoing of the working group of the Astana format on the release of, uh, of, of, of forcibly detained persons. We wish in this connection to note the following. What was overlooked by many is the fact that on 21 November, the Syrian authorities, with mediation of um, Russian military personnel, released 120 detainees. This is an important humanitarian act also geared towards confidence building. Today's uh, turn towards the better and political settlement sets the stage for tangible measures to be adopted to provide comprehensive humanitarian assistance uh, and to ensure post-conflict rebuilding in Syria. Madam President, we wish to note the following. In the work of the Constitutional Committee, there is participation both by representatives of the Syrian government and civil society and the Syrian opposition, including that which is under the control of armed groups. So this means that all those who genuinely wish to uh, uh, contribute to the process of building a political future in Syria joined this peaceful process and outright thugs and terrorists continue to threaten the Syrian people. For example, uh, the uh, fighters from the Syrian Security Council listed terrorist organization Hayat Tahrir Asham, which entrenched themselves in Idlib. There's a need to decisively rout terrorists in Syria. Once again, we stress the following. Syria is one of the key states in the Middle East, an integral part of the Arab world. One cannot contrive to wrench it away from the regional context. And in this connection, we advocate the prompt return of Damascus to the Arab family. This will help to rebuild intra-Arab harmony and will help to improve the situation in the Middle East. This is is a natural and objective process which is being advanced, uh, external impediments notwithstanding. We call upon all those who genuinely wish to rebuild peace in Syria to constructively join our efforts. To conclude, Madam President, I wish to thank 
my colleagues, uh, my outgoing colleagues of the uh, Security Council, uh, for many, this is their last uh, meeting today, uh, uh, for this round at the very least. I wish to thank them for their cooperation, which we've uh, enjoyed over the past two years. Uh, we have uh, made great progress. And I also thank you for the great friendship that has uh, sh taken shape among us. I wish you all the very west best, and I wish you all the very best in the, uh, out in the new year. Thank you. I thank the representative of the Russian Federation for his statement.